Hello friends, in this tutorial uh, we are going to discuss another programming problem to move all zeros to the end of the end of the array. So end of an array. So given an array of random numbers, move all the zeros of a given array to the end of the array. For example, if our input is this array, then the output should be uh, like this. If we see the output except zero, the order of all other elements should be same. So for example, so if my array is this, so 1, 0, 2, 3, and 0, next element is also 0, 0, and this one is 2 then my output array is 1, 2, 3, 2 and then all the zeros are put at the end of an array 0, 0 and 1 more this one so if you observe the output array then you can see except zero the order of all other element should be same so uh, let's first discuss the algorithm then we will see the java and c code uh, for their implementation so let's first think how we can solve this problem so if you see uh, this is my original array if we traverse this array and move all non-zero element to the front of the array and then uh, we put all the zeros to the end of an array then our problem is solved for example if I see if I take one array and let's say this is my original array so this is my original array and if I traverse each element of this array so suppose I am traversing this array the first element I encounter is 1 so let's I put 1 then the next is 0 I skip it then my next element is 2 then my next element is 3 then again 0 I skip it then 0 I skip then 0 I skip and then 2 I put this I know the length of an array I move all the non-zero element first then what I do is I just put 0 at the end so in this way we can solve this problem in O n time and in O1 space complexity so the time complexity is O n and the space complexity is O1 so let's see uh, the C code and then we will see the Java code so let's so this is what I have written a C code so this is my array and I uh, initial uh, I declared few variables here and initialized uh, some uh, values C I am traversing an array from 0 to n and if the if the element is greater than 0 then what I do is I put the values in an array so suppose let's see this one this array and my count is 0 so the first one is greater than 0 yes so I put at 0th index it's 1 then the next element is 6 at first index it's 6 now the value of count is uh, after this is 2 so it's 0 so uh, this step is skip 0 is skip the next is 3 so at second index I put 3 then at next index I put 8 then at next index I put 9 and then at next index I put 2 <coughs> so 0 is skipped so th this is what uh, I get from here and I know the length of an array and I am checking if the count is less than the length of an array then uh, we run a while loop and put 0 at the end so in this array so this is my array and I know it's short of uh, two elements so zero is put here and then zero is put here 
so in this way we can solve this problem so this is the c code and and after that i print the values so traverse an array and i check whether the element is greater than zero if it's greater than zero i push them in the front of an array and then after that i know uh, the remaining element is a zero i put at the end and then i print the value so this is the logic which i i have explained uh, to you and let's see the java code so similarly in java code again traverse i have traversed an array if array is not equal to zero maybe you can check either it's greater than zero or not equal to zero then you can put uh, them in an array and then in this condition you are checking uh, if count is less than uh, the length of an array then put zero at the end and after that you can print this array so this is a very uh, simple logic to move all the non-zero all the zeros element to the end of an array and <clears throat> all all the code link is present in the description box so you can check the description box and you will find uh, uh, the C and Java code link uh, there and uh, for more such video tutorial you can subscribe our YouTube channel and that's it for this video thanks for watching this video